EM1 got rid of Wi-Fi? Every spring and summer when I would do this, I would see just a ton of white fly flying up from the leaves. How is it growing? I'm passionate about helping you grow organic food. And today I'm excited to talk about an organic liquid probiotic for the soil, EM, effective microbes in EM1, has done some incredible things around here, both in the house and in the garden. My very favorite thing that it has done, surprisingly, was get rid of whitefly. This is kind of part two in a two-part series about effective microbe products, as in Bokashi composting, which was the previous video, and EM1, this episode. Today, I'll go over what, why, and how. What is EM1, why you should consider using it, and how it's applied. There are many uses for EM1, but among my very favorite things, it deodorizes the kitchen compost container and the trash cans. And in the garden, it inhibits fungal diseases, boosts plants' overall health. And you'll wanna stick around till the end of the video because that's where I'll share the very best thing EM1 did for me, and that was get rid of white fly when nothing else was nearly as effective. I tried everything. I first learned about EM1 from Jason at Tree Amigos Growers. I'm not familiar with EM1. It's fantastic, right? Because remember what I said the soil right. itself is the digestive tract for plants. And so it's all about the beneficial bacteria. Just like in your soil and our guts, EM1, beneficial microbes, right? EM1 stands for, for effective microbes because they know what bacteria is in there. They know what um, yeast is in there. They have an idea where all this stuff comes from. And so it's a shelf-stable fermentation product that you just mix with water and go put in the plants. And what it does is it brings in, it's a food source for the good bacteria and for the worms to come and start populating. EM1 improves seed germination, root development, nutrient absorption, soil fertility, and overall plant health. When you boost a plant's health, it is not as susceptible to pests and disease. Wait, what? It's true. If a plant has everything it needs to reach its genetic potential, it is not susceptible to pests and disease. And this is backed up by peer-reviewed studies. Dr. Thomas Dykstra explains about this in one of John Kemp's videos, and that link, if you want more information, is in the description below. I've seen this happen by using EM1, but let me be clear. EM1 is not a pesticide. It's an organic probiotic. And soil biologist Dr. Elaine Ingham says that when the plant has the right biology covering it above ground and below ground, there's no way for pests and disease to get to that plant. Like I mentioned earlier, EM1 does a great job deodorizing the compost container and the smelly trash cans. I also like to inoculate the compost tumblers with it because it inhibits disease-causing organisms, which can be caused by pockets uh, that are anaerobic pockets within the compost. You can also soak the seeds and seedlings before planting or transplanting to enhance root development and nutrient uptake. Or you can drench the soil with it after planting, like I did with my cover crop. Next video. Because EM1 produces an enzyme that has antifungal proteins, EM1 is known to inhibit fungal diseases such as blight on tomatoes. For me, it rescued this palm tree that was dying from a fungal infection. Before I was aware of EM1, I treated it with neem oil, which helped a little, but it was really EM1 that gave it the boost that it needed to recover. If you have a mango tree, I'm sure you're very aware of this very common black sooty mold on the leaves and branches. But since I've been using EM1, and this is my first year I've seen this happen, there's no mold on the leaves. I still have a little bit on some of the smaller branches, but it never made it to the leaves. I can't say that I was really consistent with treating it every week as recommended at first until I started seeing results. And that's when I started a weekly schedule of spraying it Next to the mango, we have this chiquette avocado, which had that mold on the branches, 
but there's a noticeable difference in less of that black sooty mold since I've been treating it with EM1 as a foliar spray. Finally, the most notable thing EM1 did for us was get rid of whitefly when nothing else was nearly as effective. While EM1 is not at all a pesticide, I don't have a whitefly infestation as I had in previous years every spring and summer. This is Mexican petunia, and a quick side note about this plant is that it can be invasive, but we like it in this planter because generally it takes very little maintenance. It just got whitefly every year. Years ago, before I went fully organic, I was using toxic pesticides, as well as that yellow sticky flypaper. Then I tried organic sprays like neem oil and mycotrol, and actually mycotrol was the best that I had seen at that point, but I still had some whitefly. As I've mentioned, you can apply EM1 as a foliar spray and as a drench using one to two tablespoons per gallon. I'm not claiming that EM1 will get rid of whitefly on everything. I'm just showing what it did for me. I did see less whitefly and blight on my tomatoes this year. While effective microbes can help inhibit fungal disease organisms, it may not always eradicate the problem. I recommend focusing on soil health. Healthy soil lead to healthy plants. Effective microbes are great for disease prevention and great for keeping black sooty mold from spreading. And in a future episode, I'll show how you can grow these microbes by using molasses. And this is, this is what I've made. And I've made quite a few gallons of this and I'm, this is about halfway full and I can make uh, quite a bit more. And that 10% discount that I mentioned in the previous episode on Bokashi composting has increased to 15%. That applies of course to EM1 if you use the Tyroganics store link in the description below and use the promo code stacksurbanharvest by using one of the product links in the description to purchase, you're supporting the mission of this channel so that I can continue making videos like this to help new gardeners grow their own organic food. If you got something out of this, please consider giving a thumbs up like on the video, subscribe to the channel, Click on that bell so that you'll be notified when I upload videos in the future. Finally, live regeneratively and let's grow together.